Hey there guys, my name is Bo and welcome to my channel Cryptocurrency Australia. In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to add a custom token onto my Ether wallet. Now the reason you might do this is because you could have just participated in an ICO, you've sent some funds from my Ether wallet to the ICO, the ICO has said that your funds have been deposited back into your wallet, but you can't see them, they're not there. My Ether Wallet provides an option to add a custom token, which means that you can actually add the data into My Ether Wallet because the My Ether Wallet probably haven't had a chance to update the site with that token. So this actually allows you to add that token and therefore you can actually see that token that you've just participated in from that ICO. So My Ether Wallet allows this function because there are so many ICOs popping up all the time, basically allows you to really quickly and easily update that data without them having to do all the back end work all the time. Now, if you haven't participated in an ICO before, or you may just want to learn a little bit more about what it is, you can actually check out my video. Uh, there'll be a link in the description where I go into how to participate in an ICO and how to use my Ether Wallet in that process. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to myetherwallet.com. Now, just as a note, there'll be links to everything down in the description. We're going to come over here to view wallet info and then using your preferred method to log in log into your account and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so we've logged into my Ether wallet. Now I've just created this wallet as a demo. There is no cryptocurrencies at all, but we're gonna go through the process on how to add a custom token. We're just gonna pick out a random ICO to actually do this with, to demonstrate it. Now you'll see down here on the bottom right, this small box here that says token balance and how to see your tokens. There's two boxes. You'll see one that says show all tokens and one that says add custom token. So click on the button that says add custom token. All right, so we'll see three fields that pop up. One is token contract address. The next one is the token symbol. And the next one is decimals. So we'll come back to that information in a little bit. First off, let's just go pick out a random ICO and go through the procedure. So over here on coin schedule, we can see just some current ICOs that are currently in progress. Now just picking out a random one, we'll pick out this hay token sale. We can see over here that it is an Ethereum token. So that's what we want to see. That means that this has been created on the Ethereum blockchain. So the next step is to go to a site called ethplora.io. Now there will be a link down in the description straight to this site. Now this site is just um, basically a window into the Ethereum blockchain. So we can see everything that's going on in the Ethereum blockchain, including transactions, we can see different tokens and a bunch of other data. So you'll see down on the left here, you'll see a box that allows you to search for transactions or addresses or token name. So we want to search for the token name of the particular ICO that we just invested in. So coming back over here to coin schedule, we can see that this token, this is called HADE, H-A-D-E. So what we'll do is we'll just search for H-A-D-E and we can see here this one says pre-HADE and HADES. Now it could be either, but generally pick the one that makes the most sense. So I'll click on this one that just says HADE. All right, so we can see this data now has popped up we can see token HAID and we can see here this contract information and we can see the token HAID information. Now this contract is the contract between the HAID platform and the Ethereum blockchain. This is basically the data or the fields that the HAID platform set up when setting up their token distribution smart contract. Now the three fields we need to create the custom token are the contract or this, this string of uh, numbers and letters here. We need the symbol, which is H-A-D-E, and we need the decimals. So first off, we'll start with the contract. So highlighting this, we'll click copy, and then we'll go back to My Ether Wallet. All right, so back here in My Ether Wallet, we can see these three fields that we had a look at earlier, the token contract address, the token symbol, and the decimal. So what we'll do is we'll just paste in that contract address, which again, we got from just here, this contract address, and then we just pasted it into there. Now the next field we need is the token symbol. So coming back to ETHBLORA, we can see it is H-A-D-E. We'll just copy that, we'll come back and we'll paste it in there, and then we'll go back and get the decimals. So coming back to ETHBLORA, we can see there is 18 decimals. Back here on my Ether wallet, we'll click 18, and then we'll click on save. So that's it guys, it's as easy as that. Now if you want to see the custom token that you added, all you need to do is scroll down to the very bottom of all these tokens and you'll see here HAD here. You can see here zero because I obviously didn't participate. But if you participated in that ICO, you would now see the balance of the tokens that were, that were returned to you after you added that data in and you added that custom token. If you're new to cryptocurrencies and you're interested in learning more about the fundamentals, including the technology behind it, um, some basic investment principles, buying, selling, and storing, 
then my course at the moment is on sale. It's only $29 down from $150. There'll be a link down in the description which gives you access to this coupon code. It's a fantastic course, currently rated 4.7 out of 5 uh, with over 253 ratings. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope it made sense and I hope it was easy. Thanks a lot for watching my video. If you liked it, likes are always really appreciated. My name is Bo and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.